Hello guys, this is Spicy, and this is a review on the Bandai High Grade Universal Century HGUC 144 scale, Yak Doga. So, I reviewed like another version of this, the Kiss Pariah version, the red one. And this one is the, uh, the uh, more uh, popular version of the Yak Doga. Obviously, uh, this is a Neo Zeon mobile suit for new type, uh, singing uh, Shards Counterattack. And uh, let's see, is there a name for the pilot here in the manual? Anyway, let's take a look at the manual real quick. Mayfun Gundarium Alloy. And uh, the design is actually based on the Gear Doga. And then, uh, uh, yeah, Sazabi uh, borrow a lot of design from this suit too. So anyway, it comes with the beam assault rifle, beam saber, funnels, missiles, shield, and shield with mega particle beam guns. And uh, let's see, uh, same name of the pilot here, uh, MS zero, MSN03 Yuck Doga. Here we have all the uh, gimmicks and accessories. And uh, yeah, the Yuck Doga with all the uh, missile pot fire. I'll just put the name of the pilot in the video description. I kind of forgot his name. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, here we have all the uh, uh, poses of the Yuck, the Yuck Doga can do. Okay, so the difference between this kit and the uh, the Kiss Pariah version is just the weapon and the headpiece. So uh, I come with this uh, beam assault rifle right here. I did paint it in the scopes, and uh, it's pretty cool. It's a very unique design. We have a little bit of a I get a sling mount right here on the back, but it really doesn't serve any purpose. And obviously, we got one trigger finger, trigger hand, holding it. I did panel it and I did paint it, put one small decal here. And then uh, we have these funnels that I already attached uh, the effect parts to it. So I also painted the funnels to make it look better because uh, it's all yellow. And uh, these pieces doesn't uh, open or close because this is just a high grade. Got some of the funnels attached to the, uh, uh, the funnel system binder right here on the side. And this one is on the on deploy so let me show you that it's very easy you just plug the ease in and if you don't want them you can just remove it so for this review i'm not going to talk about the articulation because it's, it has the same exact articulation as the uh, kiss pariah version and you also have very similar accessories so we have two of these uh, uh gripping hands multi-purpose gripping hand one's holding on to the uh, uh beam saber and heat knife combination this thing is actually pretty cool. So we got the heat knife right here, and then you can attach the beam saber effect part next to it. And what's even more cool is that you can actually store this uh, when not in use. So let me show you that real quick. So basically you open up the hand. I know it's a little bit of a chore, but yeah, what can you do, right? It's a high grade. So you remove this, and then uh, you move the arm, it's uh, the storage system is actually on the side skirt so if you open this up it's easier if you remove the side skirt you open this section open uh, basically yeah you just remove the this part right here come on don't want to break anything <laughs> but yeah I'll, actually let me consult the manual real quick before uh, I make a mistake so basically yeah you just remove that panel and then you stick that part in there so don't know why is it being so difficult oh there we go you do have to remove the uh, blade section right there and then uh, you connect this right here like that then you close it up and there we go here's the storage system for the beam saver very cool and on the arm we also have these connection points right here for the uh, shield so right here we have the connection point for the shield the shield is pretty simple uh, you do have to paint all the uh, particle cannons on the shield and right here this one's a sticker I put some water slide decal over here pretty cool just realized I forgot to panel line the, this arm section right there and I did uh, a lot of uh, uh, I it, well it does require quite a bit of work you have to paint in all the red parts on the thrusters all that 
and some of these uh, gray sections right there. You're supposed to paint the uh, the shoulder binder too, but I just leave that off because I think it looks better in this yellow color. I also put like water slide decals all over the kit. Neo Zeon logo, Neo Zeon symbol, a little bit extra on the head and the back of the head right there and some are some on the uh, uh, forearms so let's go ahead and plug this in right there then uh, plug in the beam rifle show you guys it looks really cool right, holding the beam rifle again the articulation is the same so uh, if you want to adjust the mono eye you do have to remove the uh, head and the easiest way to do it is to uh, yeah is to remove the entire head section, and you have to remove this uh, I guess this very interesting looking uh, very burr like head air section right there. You pop this open. Let's see if I can do it without this whole thing falling apart. And the eyes are stickers, so. Yeah, it would really look like some kind of a falcon or a bird. And here we have the mono eye, and you can just adjust that. I'm going to have a look at the right side right there. And then uh, once you finish adjusting it, you just close it up like that. And there we go. That looks pretty cool. And yeah, it's just a pretty simple review. It's got uh, basically it's just the... Uh, uh, the red one is actually a recolor of this kit, and this one is just the uh, the more popular version of the Yakdoga. And yeah, that is pretty much it for this review. I hope you guys find the information helpful. And before we go, let's take a look at the box. <laughs> Alright, here's a uh, more picture of the Yakdoga right there. Very cool. All the gimmicks, 2200 yen. In Japan so you can probably get this kit in North America for around um, probably like 26 28 dollars and uh, yeah that's pretty much it if you'd like to pick one up uh, check out my sponsor www.tatsuhobby.com I don't know if this kit is currently in print at the time of this video but uh, yeah if it comes back in print I definitely recommend picking up the Yakdoga it's a really nice kit and that's pretty much it thanks for watching